So where are you going to look for these caterpillars? You're going to look in your milkweed, um, which again, we'll talk about if you don't yet have milkweed, how to get it. Um, I always find plant identification books sometimes annoying because they show me the plant in the height of the season when it's flowering. It's like, well, by then I know. Uh, what does it look like now in the spring when I can't quite remember what anything looks like because I haven't seen them all winter? So in our guide, we do try to give you pictures of the young plants. Um, it's hard, plant, identifying plants when they're young is hard. Um, if you could go back and talk to yourself in the fall, for plants that you're going to monitor like milkweed, it can be really helpful to mark them with something like a popsicle stick. Um, often the writing disappears over the winter, but like you'll at least know if you're like just marking your milkweed plants. Okay, somewhere around this popsicle stick is where I might see a milkweed coming up. For common milkweed, uh, it's got some fuzziness. Uh, it's got fuzziness, especially on the bottom of the leaf, which can distinguish it from a lot of other uh, plants coming up. It's got these rounded leaves. They often kind of come up close in and then spread out. Um, folks are sharing some of the uh, apps like uh, Picture This and Seek and iNaturalist, which are um, increasingly really good at identifying plants based on pictures. They have an AI behind them. Um, if you tried iNaturalist a few years ago, like these recommendations are hilariously bad. They have improved greatly because they have this AI behind them. Um, so th that might help you out. I've not actually tried them on early season plants. Um, I've done them like on growing season, they're really good at flowers, um, but you should also feel free to try those. The swamp milkweed or rose milkweed is, uh, has pointy leaves. It does get that milky sap. Uh, which can distinguish it from other things. It has, and you can see it on these even, like a darker stem um, and then lighter leaves, uh, which can help. The butterfly milkweed, um, I think it kind of looks like rosemary, especially when it's coming up, except it does have a greener stem. Um, it doesn't have that dark stem. Again, these are bigger than what you would be seeing in the wild right now because they were grown inside. Uh, it's the one that doesn't get the milky sap, um, right? Uh, I always am afraid early in the year that I'm forgetting everything. And then world milkweed, again, is the really, it's really feathery when it's coming up. It doesn't look like any of the other common Chicago milkweeds. It looks like a plant that small and delicate could not support a giant caterpillar, but it does. Um, it gets taller throughout the season. Um, and so somebody is asking, do milkweeds return every year? So they are perennial plants. They should return every year. With a new milkweed that you just planted this year, one thing I'll say is it often doesn't flower in the first year. Um, so don't be uh, disappointed if it doesn't. Um, if a milkweed plant is like struggling or not in an ideal environment, of course it might not come back the next year. Once it's come back once, that's a really good sign. Uh, like if you get it to come back that second year, it's a really good sign that you'll have it back in future years. Um, milkweed in pots can, um, can struggle. It can not last as many years. Plants in pots in general are just more uh, susceptible to drying out. They, they, you know, you have to water them more. Um, they can struggle more with like freezing much over the winter. Some folks move pots to like a south side of the building, more protected area um, to, to help them survive through the winter better or like put hay bales. I don't know where everyone's getting hay bales, but put hay bales around them. Um, so you, so it's not a guarantee, um, but but yes, in, when, in the plant, when it's in a happy situation, it'll come back and it'll actually spread um, over, over time. Common milkweed spreading most, butterfly meat milkweed is the one that size to be as most well behaved and it won't take over and grow in like monoculture areas, whereas common milkweed can do that. Um, so these are photos from like this week that folks have shared from around the Chicago area of like what their common milkweed looks like. 
Um, this is Butterfly Milkweed in Evanston, like really just coming up. Mine has not come up at all. Um, mine was also super flooded in this storm, which A, could have meant it's not going to come up, or B, it could have set it back some, or C, it was like ripped up and destroyed by my kindergartner. Um, kindergartners being a huge predator of milkweed plants. Um, this is a photo somebody shared from the talk last night of swamp milkweed is really just like barely breaking the surface. Um, again, this gets really um, microclimatey, like which side of the house you're this is on, how close or far you are from the lake, concrete on your site making um, sort of a microclimate can really affect that. So I wouldn't, if your milkweed isn't up this week, I would not be worried yet. Um, now, where would one acquire milkweed? if you don't have it. So normally, um, I would be talking to you in person at a nature center or a library or at the field museum, and I would have a flat of plants to give away that uh, Isa and Matthew grew at UIC. Obviously, we can't do that right now. That was our plan. Um, we, have, we have those uh, plants in, the, in a greenhouse, uh, and we want them to go to people. And we have to think of a way to make that happen safely. So if you're fancy and you can use your phone to and the camera app to activate this QR code, or if you want to um, jot down this link, we have a survey about where you might be willing to go to pick up plants in a socially distant and safe way. Our goal is to have a south side, a southwest side, and a north side plant pickup. Um, at a place where we can have that social distancing, where we can make it safe. Uh, hopefully in like mid-June, when we've moved to phase three in the Chicago area, um, we, can't, we can't make promises. No one can make promises right now. So that's the hope. If you're interested, uh, if you'd be willing to drive some distance to get plants, um, hit that link, fill out that survey. Um, there is also a Waukegan, um, hope and possibility that we would give plants to a place where um, they're already doing um, uh, like food distribution. Uh, the species of milkweed, we don't have the like super rare things like poke milkweed, uh, would be swamp milkweed, um, uh, butterfly milkweed, and world milkweed. And the survey asked you a little bit about that. Uh, there's also um, I think a possibility of another fall nectar and plant depending on supplies. Um, also, there are still a few um, native plant sales going on. There's some farmers markets that are happening outdoors uh, where native plants are being sold. Some of that is compiled in these two lists by the Illinois Native Plant Society and the Chicago Region Trees Initiative uh, out of Morton Arb. Um, a lot of native plant sales have been delayed or canceled. Um, there are also native plant nurseries. Uh, a lot of them are compiled on this Illinois native plants list. Milkweed sells out fast. Some places it's already sold out. I noticed in the chat somebody saying that Prairie Moon had had poke milkweed and had so sold out. I was actually looking at Prairie Moon's site for poke milkweed and clearly missed it, so it happens fast. Um, so there also is a um, significant trade amongst people who have uh, milkweed and native plants, sharing with people, um, thinning out, like especially if you have common milkweed, folks, you know, they don't transplant ideally, but you can definitely dig up some common milkweed from somebody who's willing to share with you, and I bet some of it will take. You're not going to have a 100% success. Um, again, it's pretty weedy. Um, so that so that's a possibility. So if you if you have a neighbor or a friend who has some um, milkweed, they they might be willing to share. Um, people, okay. So somebody is saying they're struggling with the survey and the email address. Karen can talk about that in the chat. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, seeds. People were asking about seeds. Um, if you have common milkweed seeds. Uh, you can probably go straight ahead and plant those without stratifying them and have some success. A lot of native plant seeds need to be what's called stratified or made to suffer. So with milkweed, that's typically 
30 days in something like wet in the back of your refrigerator, so like between two wet paper towels. People use something called vermiculite and put the seeds in there. It holds the moisture. And you put it at the back of the fridge where it's pretty cold and forget about it for 30 days and then you can plant them. That would mean you start collecting data late in the season. Um, but, you know, that, that's okay. We prefer data to start in um, June or in this case, maybe this week. Um, but, but that's okay if that's like when you can get milkweed. Um, and then next year it should come back and you'll have more.